I'm going to read you two poems uh, out of my memoir and verse about growing up in the wilds of Alaska. The first poem, A Daughter's Question. A father descends hill to harbor where boats tie up, outboard motor to fix, little feet run up behind, run ahead of him. Dad, why are there puppies in the water? Question shoots down a pointed finger, three years old, already at the edge, an embankment crumbling into the backwash, what people hope the water will hide. Her feet reach the green scum, fissure the fresh blooming, her eyes, whirlpools that spin with tiny bodies that float and bob. Sun fixed at zenith, pierces into emerald, cold folded into itself. He dies into stone, soft like fur. A father, a man only a few years, recent return from the front, where youth were skipped like rocks over water, a throw of dice, how many eyes, that many skips, the last across sinks, the body floats back up. He stretches through the rush of visages, grasps a shoulder slick with slime, breaks the suction of question. The tiny nymph, birth moist in star, stumbles away. Back of her legs, Green Street. The second and last poem is for my brother Jeffrey. Forget me not. Found in the thinnest of soils, in the thinnest of airs, a face flat on a slender stem, with roots it spread outward. Five petals of blue surround a center of gold. It returns season after season. The middle child, the brother born with wide set eyes, did not grow, did not roll over, did not sit up, did not thrive in the wilderness air. Sent, home, sent from home at one year old to a far place where there were doctors, where he might survive. Mom told us Jeffrey had to live in a hospital. Dad left by air with his newest offspring, this man who dove into water with ice and flew through thunder to save a child, returned home alone. His son beyond words for decades. Mom relayed scattered reports to her brood, doubled by two who sprang up after Jeffrey. Our brother learned to read and write. He ran races, won awards. He lived on, stronger than most of his kind. Then mother was told best not to keep in touch. A family could be disturbing. Two of us had held him as infant in our laps. Two were introduced to his image in a photograph. We soaked up every bit of news, cheered his every year of beating the odds. We did not question. We understood he was happy. We each wondered why we could not see him. Adults now, we rooted our own families, brought forth the next generation of children. But in the thin soil of memory, Jeffrey would surface from time to time. A bloom fallen from the clan in its first flowering. But where did he land? In our own city, unbeknown to us, till the state redeemed bureaucratic bungles, released his money, revived a dream in dormancy. Jeffrey watered its promise, sprouted a surge, traced thin threads that withstood the years, found petals of flesh behind the surname, found us, found his mother before she died. Our middle brother, tugged by roots, followed his heart that knows. No life expectancy, only its own center that beats season after season. Thank you.